this morning I had a friend call and he's got a delivery of a, a generator coming and they've got to get it off of a semi truck. So he asked if we could uh, use the skid loader and um, move some stuff around in this, uh, in this snow. got the trailer pulled out and the bobcat pulled out and we've got to shovel a little snow not a big deal and then we can get the machine loaded up and we'll go for a drive So back up just a little, and then when you get going, keep going. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I've got this great big, great big snow bucket on the machine, and that's great for moving light material whether it's mulch or whatever uh, sawdust firewood it's been a been a the right tool for the job now I would never use that for moving dirt because um, it would just put too much weight in there so today we'll take the we'll take the snow bucket and we'll take the forks um, and hopefully this generator is on a pallet and we can just put the forks on and move it said it a, a hundred times a piece of equipment around the homestead is a good way to accomplish a lot more um, it is definitely a force multiplier it allows you to do things that even a group of guys could not get done and what that saves you in time effort and energy that lets you move things forward is just not even I, I don't know if I could quantify it 
So after getting yourself a piece of dirt, I would say number two might be getting yourself a piece of equipment. Whether that's a tractor or a four wheeler or a skid steer or a mini excavator, a bobcat, even if it's a backhoe, whatever, doesn't matter. Something hydraulic that can move weight and solve problems that you just couldn't solve by yourself. It's so beautiful, you and me. So these are American guinea hog piglets. They're technically not piglets anymore. They're six months old, but they look like piglets because they they grow much more slowly than most other breeds. Right. They're a homestead scale pig because they stay really small, so they're easy to handle. They're generally docile. Yeah. And uh, they're really easy on feed. They don't take much feed to get them fat. They just grow really slowly, so it's the trade-off. it up we've got uh, we got machine put away and trailer put away and um, things went well um, yeah you know it didn't go the way I thought it was going to but then no plan ever does go the way you think it's going to but, but mission is accomplished mission accomplished got everything done I uh, got the generator unloaded got it put away um, we've got some snow moved okay. and um, we're ready to go next time when we need the machine um, so good day that awesome was, yeah and we're having you guys out in a few days with the kids and yes we're gonna show everyone the animals yeah look forward to that we're gonna go over to dan's uh and again that's the grass-fed homestead and i'll put the link uh in the description but go check him out he's got all sorts of great information i'm excited to spend some time with dan and learn from him he's got he's got a lot to teach me well, thanks a lot for your help josh I appreciate <laughs> no problem it. um that's the best part about the you know homesteading and the community is having people you can call because I'm sure there's gonna be a time where hey Dan I've got issues with animals or hey can you come over and help me out and give me a hand and that's that's the best part about having neighbors absolutely, absolutely. so look forward to uh, seeing more Dan and uh, go check out his channel when you get a second <laughs>